Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand version, header length, type of service and total length fields in IPv header, IP, IPv4 header. So it means we are going to understand all these fields in the first row of the IPv header. The concept, the basic understanding of maximum size and minimum size of IPv header has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, watch that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have a better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class we'll start with our version so what this version is it is it is having four bits of space there are different versions of ipv uh, 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 ip header so the the version that we're going to understand is version 4 and it is the the different versions that are available are uh, are from ipv 1 to 6 ip1 2 3 4 5 and 6 out of this only two versions are very important and very uh, they are practically in use it is ipv4 and ipv6 so it is going to so that version that version code is accommodated in this four bits so what is the version of this ipv4 it is uh, the code that is the four bits that are used for ipv4 version is uh, 0100 it is just the binary value of uh, uh, the decimal number 4 similarly for version 6 it is going to be 0110 in our course we are going to have only version 4 we, we will discuss uh, about only this version 4 uh, fields so the version so what is the use of uh, putting that version bit uh, in the start of the ipv header is whenever the packet is received at the receiver so by identifying that version bits it is going to execute only that program which is related to this version 4 if it is version 6 means so the programming that is required to execute the ipv6 header that programming part will get executed so for that which 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 part of the programming has to be considered and uh, that is decided by this version okay so the uh, next field is uh, header length field this is also four bytes so what is the header length header length means the number of bytes that are allocated that are there within the header so that is what we call it as header length so uh, for example so about this header length we have already discussed that the minimum header length is minimum header length is 20 bytes and the maximum header length is uh, 60 bytes okay because we are having uh, 40 bytes of optional fields so the optional fields is going to have 40 bytes so the minimum is 20 and the maximum is uh, 60 and we are having only four bits how can we accommodate those the those big numbers within this 15 fields sorry with, within this uh, four bits with four bits how many numbers that are possible with four bits the number of the numbers that are possible are from 1 to sorry 0 to 15 if all four bits are ones means it is going to be 15 but we have to represent the numbers which is the number of bytes which is 20 bytes and 60 bytes how this can be represented this is done by using scaling the scaling of the number of bits we, they, those scaling uh, we are going to scale down those number of bits how that scaling is done is so based upon the number of bits that we are having uh, if for example if you are having uh, 20 bytes means so until here we are going to have 20 bytes and they are mandatory if we are having only 20 bytes now we, we, that scaling is done by using 4 so why 4 why 4 that we will try to understand so if we divide it by 4 it is going to get a number so it is going to range between uh, 0 to 15 so in this case 20 by 4 means it is 5 it is not bytes 20 bytes by 4 means it is 5 okay so what is the code for 5 in 4 bits in 4 bits it is uh, 0 1 0 so this is used in the header length 1 0 1 0 1 is the code that is used in the header length for 20 bytes so what happens at the receiver end in uh, end means it is by identifying 0 1 0 1 at the receiver it will multiply it with 4 whatever the number that is present in header length that will get multiplied with 4 for example if you take 5 into 4 it is going to be 20 okay so uh, 
uh, what if we are having 60 bytes 60 by 4 which is going to be 15 so with 15 15 into 4 15 means it is represented as all ones so 15 into 4 is going to have is going to uh, give a 60 it means the first 60 bytes the first 60 bytes or the uh, fields or the bits that are used for the length of the header okay so uh, first 60 bytes after that the data bits are going to uh, we, are, we have to recognize them as the data bits so this is very important point to understand the header length plays an important role the other question is for example so we have taken the multiples of 4 we got the numbers what if we have taken so for example if you take 22 bytes so there is a possibility right if two bytes are there for options we get an option of we get an uh, uh, he header size of 22 bytes so how that can be represented for example if you take 22 bytes for example if you take 22 bytes and if you divide it by 4 it is going to be 5.5 so how this 5.5 5.5 cannot be represented by using uh, uh, by using four bits so how that can be represented is so how this problem is addressed is it is addressed by using padding bits so it is addressed by using padding bits so what this padding bits means in order to bring it down to an integer integer value so how many bits are to be added for 22 bits how many bits are to be added so that it is multiplied it can be multiplied by 4 it is 8 bits is it 8 bits no it is a uh, uh, 16 2 bytes has to be added so 16 uh, 2 bytes has to be added it is 22 plus 2 which is equal to 24 24 is divisible by 4 right so it is 24 by 4 is going to be 6 6 can be represented as 0 double one zero with 6 bytes with the 6 in the header length just by multiplying 6 into 4 uh, we are going to get 24 okay so what these padding bits are added with is all zeros so 2 bytes of all zeros means 16 zeros will get padded at the end of the header as we are having 22 bytes so it is not possible to represent it in decimal value it is not represented uh, it in uh, integer way so it is going to get a decimal point value which can which cannot be uh, represented by using four bits so the padding bits are added at the end of the header so to the 22 bytes a two bytes of extra zeros will get added with extra zeros it, it is not going to differentiate uh, the uh, it is not going to differentiate the meaning of the header just 0 0 0 0 means just 0 0 it is not going to differentiate any value so that is how that is how uh, this problem can be addressed okay so the next field is uh, type of service so this type of service so, so what this type of service is uh, so this about this concept of type of service we will try to understand in our later classes wherever the context comes at this point of time just try to remember that we are going to have 8 bits for type of service okay so the next one is total length total length is 16 bits total length means it is the length of header plus the data this is the maximum length that can be accommodated in ipv4 so this point is very important to understand total length is equal to 16 bits means it is 2 power 16 number of bits which is 65535 these many number of bytes these many number of bytes can be accommodated so it is representing bytes try to get that point the total size of the ipv4 header including with data header plus data so the total size should not never exceed 265535 number of bytes okay so the total length is going to be represented in based upon the number of bytes the total length is represented by using uh, is, is represented in the total length field 
ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट वर्शन हेडर लेंथ टाइप ऑफ सर्विस एंड टोटल लेंथ फील्ड इन द आईपीवी फोर हेडर होप यू गट द क्लैरिटी ऑन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल आइकॉन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड इफ हैव एनी डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग दिस कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज पोस्ट योर डाउट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड इफ यू फील दट दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल टू यू प्लीज गिव अ लाइक सिंबल एंड प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दट दे विल ऑल्सो गेट बेनिफिटेड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग